Hi, YouTube family. Um, this is Journey167. Today is day 19 for me. I've had 18 full days on VLCD, and today is day 19 for me. Um, feeling pretty good. I started at 259.8 pounds, I believe. I am now at 239.6. Yeah. 239.6. So I've lost 19.8 pounds. Two pounds away from 20. Two pounds away from 20. Um, really proud about that. Um, I know it's been a while since I've vlogged. I just really needed to get it together. I had um, some issues with Tom, and he slowed me down for about four or five days. I didn't have any losses, really. I got off the scale for four or five days. Um, I didn't really get off the scale for four or five days. I just noticed that I had a an increase of 0. 0.6, and during time, I just, I just didn't want to get on the scale consistently because I didn't want to harbor the negativity and want to push forward. So I'm still consistently working on my um, protocol. I'm doing HCG 2.0 as I shared. Um, I find this to be a little more relaxed. Um, I'm much more capable of doing this protocol. Um, it feels like, I, I think the best way for me to put it is that I can live and stick to it at the same time. I want to. I want you to meet someone. Um, he's doing it with me. It's my husband, Victor. Victor, are you there? Come here, please. Um, he's doing it with me. He's a thin guy already. He doesn't have a lot of weight to lose, but he's been trying to target his belly fat. And I told him that HCG targets abnormal fat. So he started this past Monday. I think this is day number four for him, and he has lost. Um, I think about seven pounds, seven and a half pounds. And, um, he's doing injections with me. Remember I told you I'd never tell him I was injecting myself. He finally saw it, saw the needles laying around. And, and this is my husband. Come, come, come. Hello. Hi everyone. Any, any cute? That's my baby. She's trying to hold the whole camera. That's my baby. Let me hold it up. There you go. Can you see him? Hello. That's my handsome man right there. I'm going to play golf now. Yes, he's going to play golf now. So he gets his exercise on the golf course. See you later, baby. So um, I just wanted you to know where I was. I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. And that's my man. He's doing it with me. And I'm doing pretty well. I wanted to give you a couple of updates. One, I went shopping this past weekend. Um, he was good to me this weekend, y'all. I bought some stuff. Um, I bought a new pair of, um, Michael Kors shoes because, you know, I'm in love with Michael and I bought a dress and actually I bought four dresses and, um, I was able to, I put on an extra large, which is phenomenal because, you know, I told you a few Sundays ago, two Sundays ago, the Sunday that the Sunday before I started, I was in a size 20. Okay. And, um, I was able to put on a size extra large when I went shopping over the weekend and it was a little too big. So I put on a large and it fit just fine. So, um, I bought the large and that made me feel good. I'm not going to wear the dresses, um, anytime soon. One of them is too small. One of the Michael Kors dresses I bought is a straight cut and it's too small but my husband suggested I buy it anyway just because I'm losing weight and it'll be fine eventually it'll be fine so I'm looking like Janet Jackson with this thing in my ear but um that was my Bluetooth um so that felt good and um I haven't measured my waist and I'm probably not going to anytime soon because I'm being lazy but I started it to uh, uh, 36 and a half inches and one day I was just downstairs kicking around and I was just below 34 inches. So I know I've lost at least two inches, maybe even three or four in my waist. 
and my stomach is flattening. It's not completely flat like it was, but my stomach is flattening and I can see the, the rolls on my back, the back fat going away. Um, I don't know. My face doesn't look different to me. doesn't look different to me. My husband's in the background saying, yes, it does. You think so? Yes. My face looks different? Well, he says my face is thinner. I don't I don't really notice it. I don't really want to lose weight in my face either cuz fat in your face make you makes you look youthful and you know I want to be young and deliciously fabulous forever. So that is my update. HCG 2.0 has really been a lifesaver for me. Um I don't want to knock any other HCG protocol that anybody might be doing. I'm just telling you what's worked for me. Um the Simeon's protocol, excellent, but it's really restrictive and um, just difficult for me. It was difficult for me. Would I have done it? Yeah, I would have quit at 21 days though. And I'm um, I'm approaching 21 days, and I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue until I get off the last 39 pounds. Um, I want to make it to Wonderland, and on this protocol, I really believe that I can. Um, like I said, I can live. And stick to protocol. So I don't have to avoid going away. We went away for the weekend. We figured it out. Um, it wasn't the weekend. It felt like the weekend because my husband was on vacation. But it was actually Monday and Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday we went away. And um, we figured it out. We just figured it out. Um, we found things to eat based on the PFC, which is protein, fat, carbohydrates. And we... Um, we tried to eat proteins that were three or above, and I stay below 20 grams of carbohydrates every day, and I have 750 calories. I rarely make it to 750 calories, but sometimes I do, and sometimes I go over. When Tom showed up, I started going over, but I didn't cheat. You know what I mean? I didn't. Normally for me during Tom, I have this binge where for three to six days, sometimes seven or eight, I just eat everything that's not bolted down if it has sugar in it if it has carbs in it I want it I want it I want it I want it I was able to get past it this time I really was the only time I had a moment when I was completely out of control was one day I found some Atkins diet bars that my husband had bought and hidden and I ate like three of them just like <coughs> diet bars you know what I mean? I just went nuts and it was sugary and sweet and it was the first day of my period. And I'm so thankful that they were at Kent's bars because I didn't get kicked out of ketosis. I've been in ketosis the whole time and I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm proud of myself. Now, did I want to lose more than that? Yeah, I wanted to lose 20, 40 pounds in 20 days. That's what I wanted. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I'm not approaching 260. Um, I'm thankful that I'm in the 230s. And I'm, I'm just really, really thankful for this protocol. Um, it's not miraculous. It's not the end-all, be-all. I don't want to say that it's so much different than the original protocol. It just offers me a few avenues of escape so that I don't cheat, so that I don't fall. And one of the things I really love, that's my son. Jameson, come here, baby. He has to get in the camera, too. Come here. Hello. See, doesn't he look like his daddy? That's my baby. My middle schooler. Okay, I'm almost done. So, um, it just offers me an avenue of escape so I don't cheat. And it, it um, you're blocking my light, sweetie. And it, it's working for me. One of the things that the Dr. Labube, or however you pronounce his name, I apologize, um, he said, there's no failure, only variations in success. And that's how I feel. Those few days of Tom, those were variations in my success. But I'm back on it now because I lost um, 1.6 um, today. This morning I woke up with a 1.6 release. So I'm excited. Excited. I'm looking forward to the 220s now. I'm looking forward to the 220s. Remember, um, I told you the Air Force Ball is on September 7th. 
sixth or seventh, I can't remember, whatever that Saturday is, is the Air Force Ball, and um, I'm going, so I'm hoping to be in the low 220s when I go to the ball. Okay, guys, love you, bye.